to 6.05, the 2018-2019 school calendar. Dr. Heron. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. As you know, annually we bring a proposed calendar to the board for their consideration. We've got a process through which we do that, and Ms. Overkamp-Smith will present this information to you this evening. Thank you. Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the board, Dr. Heron. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about the 18-19 school year calendar and then also just briefly touch on the 1920 school calendar. In front of you, you have the presentation as well as um, detailed information about each calendar. In Virginia, we have certain calendar parameters. We must start after Labor Day, at least as of now. Some of us. Um, correct. I'll show you a map in a minute. Not all of us. Um, <laughs> Not even half of us. And we must have 180 instructional days or 990 hours. In WJCC, we also do not have school on election day because 11 of our schools are used as polling places. And we try to align with the regional calendar. So let's talk a little bit about pre-Labor Day. Um, there are two ways that you can get a waiver. One is by having multiple closing days over the last 10 years. We've had quite a few. Um, and this is as of 2-6, 2018, that we've had seven delay days this year and one delay. No more. <laughs> um, so we don't quite meet the parameters for closing. Another option for a waiver is um, programs. And you must be entirely surrounded by other school divisions that open before Labor Day, or you must provide a program that um, pretty much requires a, a longer school year. So that would be, um, you know, those year-round programs. And to speak to your point that there are many school divisions that open prior to Labor Day, um, the yellow is us and Tidewater because we all do not meet the closing requirements, nor are we <coughs> surrounded by other school divisions that open after Labor Day. What's that poor little yellow spot right in the middle of the room? Um, Salem. I'm sorry. I'm done. I can't I'm see it. I'm sorry. It's just it's curious. Salem, Rona. But they are surrounded, so they're able to do it. They could, but they don't. They, they don't. don't. Yep. Interesting. Are they regretted? They must have a park or something there. Uh, so we had our um, calendar committee representatives from nine schools, central office, the WJCEA, and the WJCCPTA. We met in December, and um, members were asked to gather feedback from their constituencies. The regional calendar committee met in November. We will be meeting again in February, March to uh, take a look at what school boards have decided and then also take a closer look at 1920. So diving right in, diving right in, uh, first day of school, September 4th, Thanksgiving, we have scheduled three days, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of November. Winter break, it starts December 19th with an early release and runs December 20th through January 1st with us coming back January 2nd. Um, spring break is the first full week in April, April 1st through 5th, and then we have graduation set for Saturday, June 15th, 2019. We've made a couple of tweaks. The high school open house will now be a schedule pickup. So teachers will not be there to meet with parents, but students and parents will be able to pick up schedules. We will, however, have a middle school and a high school back to school night in September. So we're adding that back to the calendar um, because of demand, because we've had parents and staff members say that they would like those nights to be back and they would like the um, conference nights that are also still in the calendar to be dedicated to having discussions that are really <clears throat> important for student success instead of meet and greet kinds of evenings. Mm -hmm. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, so the schedule pickup again, how would that work for someone who maybe 
doesn't have a parent who can pick it up? Well, the students can pick it up. So students will pick mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Uh, and and now that most of the high schools they have tables and you walk up your M through zero and you walk up and the guidance counselor is typically or a secretary sitting there um, and providing the ca the schedules. So that is the norm. You just won't have the going to the classrooms part of that evening. They're on view anyway, right? They are. So the oh, so the uh, teachers will still be in the building in their because it's a professional development day they'll be in the building that day yes um not necessarily that evening so so there will not be an so expectation for them to be there that evening okay so but the middle school and the elementary school teachers there is that expectation correct so would it so do the high school teachers make that day up some point where they're in the schools and not you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because uh because middle school high school elementary school all have the same back to school nights but the high school teachers don't have to be there on the 28th, but the elementary teachers have to be there, the middle school, I don't. I absolutely you see are, your point. You're in violent agreement with me. <laughs> Got it. We, we had not addressed that. That had not been a question that had been raised previously. We have also um, added designated makeup days. Um, partially as a result of this year and the multiple days that we've missed. So we've added um, designated makeup days in January and March. And here they are. Um, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, two PD work days, and I see a typo. Uh, um, President's Day, February 18th. March 1st is an early release day, so we would make that a full day. And March 29th, that's an early release day, we would make that a full day. However, what we will put on the calendar is that all student holidays and early releases are fair game if we need to make up time. Um, as well as high school semester exams, those also, they were adjusted this year and the potential is there for those to be adjusted as well, um, not only making them optional, but also changing the dates of those. So that will be noted on the calendar. And the reason we're doing that is so we wouldn't have to come back to the board for a change of date in the calendar because that's a decision that has to be made very quickly. So for families, important dates, August 28th is the scheduled pickup for high school. Open house would be August 29th for middle school and August 30th for elementary. And then back to school nights will be September 17th, middle school, September 18th, high school, and September 20th for elementary school. We also have secondary parent conferences scheduled for October, October 16th and 18th. Elementary parent conferences will be November 14th and 15th. And then second semester parent conferences, high school, middle school will be in March, the 12th and the 14th. And elementary parent conferences as they're needed would be April 18th. We do have some holidays in the calendar. Election day, as noted before, November 6th. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. Day is January 21st in 2019. President's Day is February 18th and Memorial Day is May 27th. We also have a number of K-12 early releases. October 19th, December 19th, March 1st, March 29th, and June 13th. And then we have some early releases by level. Those are detailed here. Um, some are tied to conferences, others are tied to exams. <coughs> also in your packet, you have the calendar summary of teacher work days and professional development. This year at the elementary school level, teachers will have 7.25 work days, which is the same for middle and high school. We also will have the same number of professional development days, 5.5 .5 for elementary, middle, and high school. And that's a combination of half days, full days, and early release days. 
There are two e-commutes on this, the calendar this year. One is a full day e-commute. The other is an early release e-commute. Our marking periods, we tried to even them out. Um, we always have fourth marking period a little bit longer just because of how the calendar falls. So those would be the marking periods for 2018-19. And um, the associated interims would be in October, December, March, and May. Any questions right now about 18-19? Mr. Kelly's made this Besides point. Mr. Kelly's, yes. Well, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things there. So, so the high school teachers um, have a schedule pickup, so they don't have to be in the school that night. The elementary teachers have two days of parent conferences, whereas the high school teachers have one. Um, I don't know. It just seems like a little bit of an equity there issue there with your staff. So I don't, I don't know, you might want to put some thought into the scheduled pickup day. Or was that because of lack of people coming anyway? Or did you it, have eight high school teachers? It's a very busy evening with um, uh, teachers not really having that great of an opportunity to meet with students and parents. Um, and again, people wanted the back to school night back so that there was a better opportunity to interact with teachers and families. Um, many students currently go to the school, pick up their schedule and leave without uh, going to teachers' classrooms, and many also get it off of view. It's not, it's a switch, right? It's not different, they're just switching. So the teachers aren't doing less, right? They're doing back to the no, school they're not doing instead less. of schedule pickup. That is correct. No, they're doing less than they used to do. <clears throat> they're doing the same as what they used to do. Got so it. is that the, so? That's the the primary reason for them to go to this that school. Go to go back to the school is to just pick up their schedule. For that first date in August. We ever we ever entertain the possibility of having more and more of that online. Oh yes. So we they have. don't even have to uh, <coughs> mm -hmm. come in. Yes. Okay, but we're not there yet or oh, no, the parent view is you don't have to but you don't have to so you can get them online yes you yeah. can. Um, general question so with the snow days they um, they take up the profession the half day professional days or half day teacher work days whatever happens to the um, the teachers just lose that opportunity to have that half day um, they they just lose the opportunity and it's put back into instruction. Um, we can we still have less than 90 hours, but at a certain point we've got to evaluate whether we add instructional time back at appropriate times to make a difference for students. And so we made the op the decision to to take back two half days and a full day. So maybe they were doing their work at home in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay. It's hard. Any, anyone else on next year's calendar? Okay, moving on to 1920. Our draft calendar, we continue to start the day after Labor Day. Thanksgiving continues to be November 27th, 28th, and 29th, a three-day holiday. Our winter break for this calendar year would be December 23rd. 2019 through January 1st, 2020, with school reopening January 2nd. Spring break is a little bit later because, again, it's tied to the first full week of April. Last day of school will be June 11th, and graduation would be June 13th, 2020. Um, in 2020, we have a presidential primary. So that um, we have worked with the registrar to make sure that we have um, trouble free days um, and that there are no issues with polling because there are very specific laws relating to polling places. So what we have agreed in the past and we have in this year, this 2020 calendar is a two hour delay <coughs> since there is a significant portion of voters who go in prior to the start of school.
Our next steps are to um, open the 2018-19 calendar to public input. We will be sending out an all staff link to the draft calendars. We will be including the link in internal and external newsletters and we'll be posting this draft calendar as well as the video of this presentation on our website, linking it on Twitter and Facebook and providing an opportunity for comments through the website. Once those comments are received, we will share them with the school board. Yes, ma'am. How are the uh, how are the comments going to be? Is it going to be? It's going to be an open ended. Sort of open ended. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just here's mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about the yes and through like a survey link or something. Or um, just similar to what we did with the uh, redistricting. It's okay. an online form. Tells you you know who are, who are you and maybe what school or if you're a community member. Um, and or then just an open. <coughs> is it going to ask whether you're a um, parent of high school, middle? Mm -hmm. yeah. It can, okay. yes. Um, I know it's a kind of a ways away, but the, the uh, administrations of the current s schools all have strategies for keeping voters away from students and sep making sure that separation yes. occurs. Um, we had lessons learned in 2016. Um, Susan Gardner and the custodial and operations staff, they did a fabulous job of putting out cones and designating parking areas. And, and we had a very small number of problems, mostly in those really tight um, parking lots like Laurel Lane. Um, so we'll look at those again in 2020. But yes, there is much effort made to keep voters in the voting area and students continuing on with their day. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Anyone else? I was looking at the 2020 calendar. I'm always concerned about uh, the need for teachers to recharge. That's, that's not very long. <coughs> 2020 it's not. this coming year and uh, it's wonderful but in uh, the calendar in 2020 is not looking like that's very much time for uh, teachers to to recharge and that concerns me I don't know I guess we don't want to run longer but still it's always a balance um, and again you know if the General Assembly says we can start before Labor Day that opens up a world of opportunity for us right um, but balancing not getting out in late June to having a longer winter break or other breaks, that's what the calendar committee is tasked with. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. We'll see this again on the next agenda. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Overton. You're welcome. 